was up, jumping on, just kind of show this 2007 Gibson Faded Cherry Flying V, picked up, used off Guitar Center website. Pretty happy with this guitar. I've had several of the uh, Gibson style Flying Vs and I hated them because the necks are always too big and fat like a baseball bat, but this 2007 Faded Cherry has a absolutely perfect neck. Really happy with it, and then because it's the Faded Cherry and doesn't have like a full-on paint job, this guitar has a really nice resonance to it because it doesn't have like that plastic wrapping around the guitar, in my opinion, hindering its um, resonance, hinder hindering its like, you know, vibration and harmonic frequency, you know what I mean? It's just like open poured. Um, just a stain job, I think, and then like a lacquer or a urethane or something over it. So, pretty cool guitar. Uh, I believe these are these stock pickups with it, Gibson pickups. I changed the knobs to be silver knobs, and you change this tip. And uh, yeah, pretty much everything else on the guitar is how I got it from Guitar Center for like twelve hundred, like eleven hundred. Pretty happy with this guitar for real. Like really, really, really happy with this guitar. It sounds like a beast running through um, amp knob with. Uh, a little bit of reverb delay and of course the cab sim from the Mesa. So I'm not using the Mesa preamp, I'm just using the amp knob. This is without the uh, reverb delay. put um, in in inlay decals to kind of get rid of the whole dot thing and just kind of go with the blocks kind of like I did uh, on that Jackson Roswell Rhodes I put the blocks on it to make it look like the Jackson Ian Scott Ian over here and then of course these the black and the blood Jackson came with their own shark fins I didn't do anything to my uh, washburn not Washburn, it's actually a Solar V. I didn't do anything to it. That's just all stock the way it is. But on this V, shit, on this V, I had put a wrap, a vinyl wrap on that V. And so it has like this blood splatter vinyl wrap on the white Jackson King V. Pretty cool guitar. And of course it has a, a set of Revelation EMG pickups. I haven't decided whether if I'm going to do anything to these pickups. I really like the way they sound. They have a lot of um, character, harmonic character, a lot of a lot of just really chutzpah behind them. They're really very outputty. They're very dynamic and expressive, and I'm really enjoying it, especially like on a clean tone amp. They sound really, really good. But definitely on, um, you know, a game. Oh boy, it's, it's, it's good night. <laughs> And I, I get that, like, 90% of the, the awesome tone that I perceive that I'm hearing is coming out of the high quality amp sim from the Bogren one knob um, the one knob rev C thing whatever it is right it sounds really good I love that amp sim and then the IRs I have it running through which are from the Mesa Mesa uh, neural DSP Mesa thing yeah really really great sounding amp really great sounding guitar great sounding rig overall and then I'm not like the biggest fan of the um, Mesa delay and reverb from that um, pack, but I'm using it in this one just to kind of keep the PC processing shit low, you know? <laughs> it's not bad sounding. The reverb and the delay sound great on this amp sim. I prefer the one from the Nolly, actually, the reverb and the delay there. <laughs> I think what I'll probably 
I do with this guitar is I'll end up sanding the body and doing like a black stain over it and then sealing that up. Um, kind of kind of my goal with this guitar is to make it a black, although I do like the, uh, the red. The red sounds great. So cool. That's this guitar, 2007 Gibson Flying V, running through the uh, Bogram Rev C amp knob and the Mesa um, using the cab. EQ, reverb, and delay on the Mesa. <laughs> They sound great, and the neck isn't bad either. crapshoot when you order from Guitar Center used, right? And sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. And like I mentioned a moment ago, I had picked up another V from there and I didn't like the neck. It was too big. The pickup sucked and it turned out to be a fake Gibson. So I, I stupidly didn't verify. Um, so it wasn't a real Gibson. It was an Epiphone. So whatever. But this one's a real Gibson. Verified the serial number and all that stuff. So I'm really happy with it. I got, I kind of hit the in my opinion, just for you know, for my money and for my time and my skill level, I definitely feel like I hit the uh, the the Flying V Gibson lottery on this one for you know under twelve hundred bucks or something like that. Really happy with it. And as you can tell, I'm a big fan of the Flying Vs. I got a couple in the other room in the living room that I play as well over there. But um, big fan of this one. So cool. That's been his video. Rock on, guys. See you next time.